All right, we're going to look at Turning Point 2008. I've already got it open here. I'm going to click on the tab for Turning Point 2008. We're going to look at creating a uh, class participant list. Now, if you look, over here we have the participant list uh, listed, <laughs> and we have anonymous and auto. What we want to do is we actually want to import a list, and then we want to edit that list, and then we'll use that list. So we're going to get a list from the network. So we're going to uh, import a list. Now you can do it down here or you can do it up here. I'm going to go to participants because we're going to use this button quite a bit. And I'm going to say import participant list or click on import participant list. Now I'm going to go to my computer, the T drive where we share all of our data, and turning point technology. Under turning point technology we have turning point IDs and then we have class rosters and generic TPS IDs for creating list. Obviously that's the one we want. We'll click it. Now the list you select to import, what you're actually going to do is you're going to import it. By importing it you're going to copy it to your computer so that you can edit it and you're not saving over this generic one that's out there on the network. So uh, the number on the side of it, the case of the turning point system matches this number right here. Each ID set is going to be different so uh, you want the IDs to uh, match up with the set so you click on the set that you have checked out click on open and now you notice that list is over here so it's in my available list what it is it copied it to my computer and now it's available for me to use as a list I want to edit that list so I'm going to say edit a participant list and now it's going to edit it if you notice it's right here and it's under participants, I'm going to show you this, it's under participants on your computer. So it's under the desktop, my documents, turning point, participants. And so it's actually on, on my computer. So you click it, and now I'm going to open this up. You see it has the device ID here, and then it has the names here. I would spot check uh, two or three of the device IDs. Just turn the device uh, over and look at it, the blue handheld device, and see the number, the last four numbers of the device ID should be listed here. Make sure that one matches up with this, uh, eight matches up with this, so on and so forth, just for a few. And then we want to type in a name, so uh, we're going to say Holly Jones, Jones, and you can add as many names as you'd like. So uh, we've added a few here, Joe Blevins, Jeremy Sushman, and those are all added, and all you have to do is add them in. And once you're done, then you, uh, you can go to File, and what I would like to do is I'd like to say Save As, because we want to actually save this as our first period class. So I'm going to say uh, Suchman first period. And now I'm going to know that's my Suchman first period list. And if you look, it's over here. So uh, now it's another available list we have. So that Suchman first period list is there and I can click on it. And what I want to do is I want to say or click on use selected list. Now the current participant list is Suchman first period and when the students click and I open a, open a session and run a session and I take that data and the students click, every time they click it's going to register who clicked on what, how long it took, and all the information I need to know based on that particular roster. And uh, you can see the students' names in it. 